What's good, Blaze Nation, Blaze Burp, Aiken Service, what's going on, what's happening? Um, I know I'm kind of recording, like, late, right, around 12.45. Um, uh, me and my girl just got off from work from Walmart from doing 2 to 11, oh my gosh, it was a crazy, that's what I'm back to say. And, um, <clears throat> if you guys follow me on Facebook, y'all already know what day it is, basically the, the day that my mom had passed, so... I'm surprised I made it through work today. So give me a kudos to me, get a pat on the back. Um But that's not here what I'm here to talk about though. Um you already know later on the day is pretty much um the remake of Diamond and Pearl that comes out today. So um so I'll give y'all a little history on what got me like in Pokemon. I don't think I did a video of this, so um here we go. The journey of me of me liking Pokemon, so this is basically how it started. So, um, I think uh, one of my cousins, um, or one of my one of my friends, uh, no, it was my cousin. My cousin had yellow version. I ain't know what Pokemon was. I didn't even know what it was about. I didn't know what the heck I was playing. Cause like, it looked fun and looked interesting. So, cousin had it. it. Was fun to play. Had a great time with it. First, like I said, first game I had was yellow. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to play it right. I was just just playing just to play it. Cause I did not know what an RPG game was back in the day. So I was like, okay. So basically it's one of those games where you gotta level up your whole teammates. So that's when I caught on real quick. Then I made a mistake one time I had yellow version and basically used Primate through the whole game. I didn't beat it. <laughs> I just basically used it to get all the gym badges of Primate, and that was it. I didn't even bother using Pikachu. I didn't use nobody. I don't cope. I, I was a horrible trainer back when I was younger. But uh, as I grow older and riser, I learned the Pokemon's weaknesses, their strengths. Um, I started to learn how to play better. Um, my next game was... Um, I think Gold Version. Yes, Gold Version was my next game. Had fun with that game. My uh, grandfather that got rested, so he bought me that one uh, when I was younger. And I had fun. I started with Cyndaquil on that one. Um, had fun. I did love the fact that the remake of um, Heart, the remake of Golden Silver Cat came out. I'll get back to y'all on that in a bit. Um, next game was uh i want to say ruby and Sa yeah ruby and sapphire was my next my also my grandfather bought me sapphire version have fun trico my boy um i started out with him and oh my gosh i i i was still getting the the mix of it and trying to even do the strengths and weaknesses on pokemon on that too as well but boy it was a journey because i kept on losing to the the thunder gym leader when I had my Sapphire version, I'm like, dude, it was a disaster. But as I grow older and older, like I said, and wiser, and start learning the more weaknesses and everything else, that's when I got better and started doing my research and stuff. So that's how I started becoming basically a human Pokédex. <laughs> um, Diamond and Pearl. <laughs> Where we are today, <laughs> but it's not the remake, but the original. I gotten wiser. You already know who I chose. I chose Chimchar. Cause I at first I didn't know that Inferno was that cool when I first played it, and that's why I started liking him. Even when I saw the uh, when Ash had caught on um, Chimchar from Paul because he released that Chimchar and Ash ended up catching it. That was cool. My boy, my boy stepped up. They had trained Chimchar into a beastly, mighty um, Infernape in the um, series, and boy, he mm, gave him gave his electric bar run for his money. Especially when he into that blaze mode, he don't play no games. Uh, <laughs> um, I did play some of the spinoffs. I did play the Mystery Dungeon. I had Blue Rescue Team. I didn't play all of them. I I did play a little bit of the uh, the pinball. I did play that for a little bit. That was actually really fun. I barely played. I only played like one time. And that was it. 
Um, Mysterious Dungeon, I only played the Blue Rescue Team. I didn't play the other Mysterious Dungeons. Um, but I do like the fact that they uh, remade the Blue and Red Rescue Team and put it on the Switch. Which, hopefully I get that game again. I played it also one time. That's when my cousin Zay, um, he's the one that let me play it on my Switch since he was already playing a different game on his. So he let me play it for a little bit, then <laughs> that's how I went. Um, but yeah, I didn't, like I said, I didn't play the other Pokemon spinoffs. I basically played the main story mode ones, but I didn't, like I said, I barely played the spinoffs. Um, let's see, um, Black and White and Black and White 2, I did play those. Um, Embor, I like how Embor was. Some people didn't like Gen 5 for some reason, but it's, it's better than anything. I still liked it though. Like I said, Embor was like my go-to one. Cause he was legit, and I did like. Oh, I did play Poke Park. I did play that one and two. I did play Poke Park one and two. I like how on the second one you get to play with not just Pikachu, but you can play with Tape Pig, Oshawa, and Snipey. That was actually pretty fun. I did like the Poke Park game, so I wish they can put that back on the Switch. That would be awesome. Along with, I forgot to mention, I did play Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD on GameCube, and that game, them games right there was fun. Now, they definitely need to put that on the Switch. <laughs> I would love to see that, because, uh, boy, my team was, like, legit. Like, after I got done with Coliseum and did all the story modes and stuff right there, I end up, I still kept um, um, Espeon and Omrion, um, and I end up getting um, three Eevees. One was holding the Water Stone, the other one holding Thunder, and the other one was fire, holding Fire. So, that's before, you know, Leafeon and Glaceon came in the picture, of course. And I had my boy Sceptile on the team. So, yeah, I had a Sceptile, my boy Sceptile, and basically a whole EV team. <laughs> I was wiping the flow with everybody with that team. Um, I definitely had fun with it. My mama was the one that bought me Coliseum for my uh, birthday. I forgot what birthday it was, but she bought me that one. Uh, my cousin, um, he didn't you know, let me have his XD Cause he barely played it or he didn't want it no more. So I ain't no playing it. Um, let's see. I want to say, yeah, um, Heart Gold. Sorry, I had something on my, on my nail or whatever. Um, Heart Gold and Soul Silver did come out. Oh, I, I had fun. I like the fact that the Pokemon can follow you. That was pretty fun. I started with Cyndaquil again. Um, then, uh, I want to say Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out, like, later on, before so Sun and Moon came out, but I did have Alpha Sapphire, uh, my little brother, he had Omega Ruby, and of course, I started out with my boy Trico, of course, um, I had definitely had fun with that game, that game was legit. Um, sad to say that my 3DS got stolen that same year that uh, the original Sun and Moon came up. So I did not play those two games at all because, like I said, my 3DS got stolen. Then they made um, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which I was like, y'all just throwing salt in my room. I couldn't even do anything. Um, I did also play Battle Revolution. I forgot about that one. I did play that. Um, when I had diamond, my diamond version, then my homeboy had Pearl, and we basically um, put our Pokemon into the game and played it. And I also, dang, I keep on forgetting about the other Pokemon games. The ones on the 64, I did play Stadium 1 and Stadium 2. I did play those two. Those were pretty fun, too, and then the little mini games you play on there, those were legit, had fun, had a blast. Especially when you have company over, you play those mini games and stuff like that, it was also fun. Um... Let's see, I did play that Pokemon Cafe game um, that Winchley had came out this year. And, um, Rum was it? It was something. It was basically a Pokemon game that looked like Blocks. I forgot the name of that game. I played it. That was pretty fun until I got tired of it, I guess. Um, Pokemon Unite. I did play that for a while. I'm still playing it for a little bit, but I barely play it. I only play it when my sons asked. Or if they want to play it, that's the only time I play it. But other than that, I still have fun playing it with it. Play it and um, stuff like that. Sword and Shield. <clears throat> have fun still playing it now. Still doing Shiny Hunting and trying to get my team together, which I haven't told. I think I did tell some people about my second team on Sword and Shield. I just haven't 
I did reveal it, but I just haven't put them in battle yet. I'm still trying to get their stats up and right up and whatever. Um, now that brings us to the remake of Dominant Pearl. I am so ready for this. And, um, I am with, I am actually going to try and get a shiny Chimchar this go ring when I play it. And I will show y'all that shiny Chimchar whenever I do get it. I know it's going to probably take me a while to get the shiny Chimchar when I do it, but it's going to be well worth it because, like I said, I never had a shiny Chimchar in my life. I never had a shiny Infernape before. This will be new to me. This will be very new to me. And uh, we gonna take that shiny um, Infernape to the to the gold and have them back on the R Star team and get my team together. That's basically what we are gonna do. Um, for my team goes on Birdie and Diamond. That's the version I'm getting. Um, of course, you know I'm gonna have a boy Infernape. Of course, it's time to shine again. I'm gonna have Rose right as my grass. Um, I want want I really want Electrifier. If I can't get him, then I'll get my boy Joe on to the team again. But most likely, I'm trying to aim for um, Electric Bar. Uh, flying type, Star Raptor, that's my boy also. Um, I normally, when I did play my Diamond version, I normally will get my boy Lucario. But I might switch it up and get my um, my favorite Rock type, Rock Rampardos. Because he is one of my favorite Pokemon I would like to use. One of my rock type Pokemon. My number one of all to use. Um, Cause like he just legit. I like how um, he was in the anime. Even though I only saw him like twice. Cause I remember of course Ash went against him. And then um, the time then um, the rock gym leader go against his dad. The steel type gym leader. That was pretty dope. And they were trying to figure out who was better between them two. Rampardos. Let's just be real. Rampardos. I mean, just because the um his dad um version um Bastro Dunn stealing rock, he got a more advantage because he's still tight. But other than that, Rampardos. But I mean there's a way that Rampardos can counter and beat his um dad's um Bastro Dunn, so it is what it is, but that's basically what I say. Rampardos is hands down my favorite. And it's crazy how you only can get Rampardos. Like, I've seen like a list where um, you can't just get choose a fossil that you want. So if you get Brilliant Diamond, you're going you gonna to get Cranny Dose. If you get um, Pearl, Shining Pearl, you're going to get um, Sheldon. I'm like, what? I was like, that's crazy. That is really crazy. So, and then of course, Electrifier is basically in, Pearl, in Diamond version. And then Mad Mortar is in Pearl. So, choose who y'all want wisely, because you won't be able to get who y'all want if they're not in there. I mean, you'll be able to trade, of course, but other than that, they're not in the game until somebody trades you that Pokemon that you want. But, uh, all right, back to my uh, team, I'm sorry. Um, my boy Infernape, Ramp, um, Ra Rose Raid, Star Staraptor, Rampardos, and for my water, I'm not really sure. It's... It's a tie between Flosal, if I could get Flosal. But if I can get an Eevee, I want Vaporeon. Vaporeon is one of my favorite water type Pokemon. So I might end up trying to score me an Eevee and try to get the Water Snow so I can get that bad boy. So that's basically my team. So I really want Vaporeon if I can get one, if I can find me an Eevee. But I know I probably will find one if I hit that secret area or whatever and go from there. But uh, other than that... That's the basically the history of me playing Pokemon, how I got into it. Because that faithful day, my cousin had it on her Game Boy. I didn't know what Pokemon was until I looked at it. Then so far and so far, my knowledge and my liking of Pokemon grew stronger and stronger. I ended up watching when Ash started off his journey in the Kanto region and going all the way up to which we see now. So thanks to my cousin, and some more of my friends and everything else, that's how I got into Pokemon. Do I regret it? No. Love Pokemon. Though. I'm pretty much gonna be an old man playing still playing Pokemon till the till the day I die. So it is what it is. <laughs> but uh 
leave a comment down below. Let me guys, let me, uh, let me, let me know what got y'all liking Pokemon, like what y'all, what got y'all started liking it and stuff like that. Because like I said, I wanted to react with you guys and know more about y'all. Want to know more about the the Blazer Nation besides you know this, you know talking and stuff. And when I do my streams, I want to know more about y'all. But uh, I will do later on today. I will do a video, of course, me getting my copy of Green Diamond and unboxing for you guys and show y'all that and um, go from there. And um, also, um, I mentioned that and when I do get the game, there's some stuff out that I did see on the video today about some stuff you can get on Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. So I'll let y'all know that when I get the game. But um, yeah, like, like I said, let me know what you guys think um, about the uh, Hang with my words up. Um, let me guys, let me know what you guys know. Ah, I still can't get my words out with the word. Uh, this is like going all in one place. Let me know how y'all got into Pokemon. Like if it's by watching the anime or by playing the game. Like I said, I want to know. But later on today, I will let y'all see the road to me getting the game. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If y'all did, blaze the like button for your boy. Helps me a lot. Do so. Hit the subscribe button to get more content of mine. It also helps. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I'm about to do a stream or a video has been loaded to my channel for you guys will not miss me. Till next time, Blaze Nation. This has been your boy Blaze in front of Vegas. Let y'all know what's going on. Y'all have yourselves a blessed night. Y'all take it easy. Stay warm. Wash your hands thoroughly. Please wear your mask everywhere y'all go. And please stay healthy and be safe out there. Your boy signing up.